because after I rake it down real good and get all the uh, the rocks and roots out of the dirt, I put the lumber covers down. That gives an impenetrable barrier uh, beneath the two layers of plastic. And again, the plastic is for gases, and, and obviously it makes a very nice floor. When you spill something, you know you don't get dirt everywhere, uh, and it's affordable. Now on top of that, I'm going to put another layer of lumber covers on top of that. Why? That keeps your heels and things from poking through. Then if you want to, on top of that, you can put down uh, some plywood or, or something hard. Alright, so what you're seeing there is, is the midterm. Now what is this? These, these are, uh, these are the ground stakes. And what I've done is I've taken um, I've taken uh, pallets. You can find pallets and get them for free in many places that dispose of them after they're used. And I tore them down and then I ripped it using a skill saw. And I made about two foot long and then painted them. Those vertical yellow pieces you might not be able to tell in the video are. Uh, are stakes and they're driven into the ground with a hammer. Um, I happen not to have a sledgehammer so I use a 2x4 to drive them further in but I used a regular hammer to start. Now you can see, if you look real close, you can see all right you can see that they're driven on the outside of the frame and you're you know so you got two yellow members here one's a wooden vertical member the other is the uh, base hoop made out of the PVC pipe that I was telling you about okay it's been painted yellow because um, I wanted to paint it all right uh, now again the details about how and the whens and what's and exact sizes are all in the blueprints and of course I'm trying to interest you in buying the blueprints and there's no way I can impart all the necessary um, information this is uh, PVC pipe cutters all right you take and you open them up like this and then you, when you close them and it pinches shut, it cuts the pipe like knife through butter. Alright, it's a valuable tool. Um, now, if you look down here, you can see it looks like a star on the ground. Let's see. Alright. That is made out of PVC pipe, and that is what holds all the vertical support members of the uh, of the dome together. Now, you make that separate, and it's hard to make. And again, you can uh, look at the instructions. Uh, take you on a tour in there. All right. See that? See the top system there? Alright. And, and of course, you can see that a, a stovepipe can go up through there. So, what I want you to do is to be encouraged about this dome shelter system. I hope to have the most affordable dome shelter system uh, for disaster relief, for alternative lifestyles, for backyard fun. I'd like to have the most affordable, strongest, top vintage shelter on the market. So uh, if you're in the market for uh, disaster relief, if you're a uh, um, you know a buyer for disaster relief, uh, remember me at wickerjungle.com and uh, I could use a good order for 50 or 100 or 1,000 or something like this and then uh, the covers naturally are are, are uh, prefabricated but the beauty is is you can buy the blueprints um, online 
and you can build your own dome system from scratch uh, using over-the-counter materials and when you finish it is so strong that you know a 250 pound person can do pull-ups on the framework okay so that's going to conclude today's session we'll have me Carol and take me I know.